Okay, I'm uh, Eric van den Bulk in Dutch uh, from the Catholic Universiteit Leuven. Um, I'm a professor in mechanical engineering and the energy related technologies within mechanical engineering. Can you tell us why it was important to uh, come here today? Well, I, um, I'm really interested in, in, uh, in technology within the society and I've noticed that uh, um, um, you see a lot of new technologies being introduced into society and there is a major problem with electric vehicles and I've known about it and I was very happy uh, to be invited on this uh, workshop um, so I could express some of my ideas and hear uh, what other people's ideas were on trying to um, bring this car to the market tomorrow. One of the words that has been heard a lot of times this morning is the word paradigm and change of paradigm. Can you tell us about this? Well, a change of paradigm or uh, um, a, a disruptive uh, break of uh, technology, um, uh, you see that once in a while. Uh, you saw that with uh, the LCD TV replacing on a very short term um, the, the, uh, the regular tube TV. Um, no business model was required for that transition. Um, you see, <coughs> um, for instance, the, um, you saw the introduction of um, um, you know, uh, dishwashers, etc. Those were the very disruptive uh, te new technologies. Um, it just didn't happen with the electric car because the, the complete introduction uh, failed uh, within uh, the market. Um, but I think uh, um, within uh, mobility um, and people transport, um, a change is needed. I believe it was pointed by several people, you as well I think, that one of the key aspects is communication. Communication is, is very important. You can kill a technology that is known from the past uh, by poor communication. Um, so, and I think uh, electric cars are a little bit the victim of poor communication. Um, they've been introduced in the wrong uh, aspect. They were introduced by um, governments. It's the first time in history, I believe, except for war times. In war times, you have that too. But in regular economy, it was the first time in history that a technology was introduced by governments, but placed in the wrong uh, setting. Um, it was not sold as beneficial to the, com to the community, but it was sold to solve someone's problem, like with CO2, which is so far from people's minds. I think that that has been part of the problem. If we don't uh, focus on CO2, what's the other alternative? Um, just a better environment for the people. And uh, um, for one, and two, um, a more economical uh, way of uh, dealing with our uh, needs. And that's where the... Um, that's why I think uh, that uh, um, electric cars should be purchased by uh, mainly to start with now. Uh, by governments so that people that you create kind of a little bit of a social pressure to be more environmentally friendly and that's one business model if you would like that maybe can work one final word maybe on being a, a KUL uh, professor here in Solvay Oh, I think uh, this is a very good uh, initiative and I would like to uh, congratulate the students from the MBA school to, um, to do something like this because really this is one of, I personally believe, one of the important things in, in, uh, in life today is transport and uh, I'm very happy to see a, a, a team like this um, uh, being taken up by a business school.